In Creole Parametric, you can create your workpiece automatically for CNC machining. In a previous video, I created a manufacturing NC model and I located my reference model. Now let's go to the workpiece drop-down menu and there are five different choices. You could assemble a pre-existing workpiece, you can inherit it, you can merge it, or you can create the workpiece manually inside of manufacturing mode. But the one that I use the most often is automatic workpiece. When I click on this, it will open up the dashboard for the automatic workpiece creation, and it will show you a preview of the workpiece that it is suggesting. And it is just big enough to encompass your reference model. If you click on the options tab, you can see the units that it is using and the overall dimensions. Rather than using these weird numbers like 190.145 and 139.699, I am going to adjust the numbers to represent more likely what I would choose as stock. So for example, rather than this number, I would probably use 200 millimeters. I'll hit the enter key and the workpiece automatically adjusts leaving the reference model in the middle. And then for this number, let's change this to 150. And this one over here, maybe I'll change it to 75. And so now I've got a workpiece that is just slightly larger than my model. So if I'm happy with this one, I will hit the check mark. And there you can see a preview of the workpiece in a transparent green color. This also works if you want to machine your parts on a lathe and you want a cylindrical workpiece. Let me go over to a different model. And so I've got my manufacturing model here and I've got my workpiece and I decided that, yeah, you know, I want this to have a cylindrical workpiece. So let's go to the workpiece dropdown, automatic workpiece, and we get a rectangular one by default but if you take a look on the dashboard, here we can change from rectangular to round. And once again, I will go to the options tab to see the sizes that I have. And I decide that, okay, rather than this weird number, let me use a nice number like 60 millimeters. And then this one I will change to 30. And I'm happy with that. By the way, you can see that we also have linear offsets where it shows either current offsets or you could specify the minimum offsets. But... I'm happy with these values. So I will hit the check mark. And now we have our cylindrical workpiece created for this model. So that's how you can create your automatic workpieces for your manufacturing models.